Duke University scientists successfully tested a cloak of invisibility. Their prototype cloak mostly hid a small metal cylinder from passing microwaves. When you think of cloaking or invisibility, you think of uh, making something vanish. And usually you think of it optically vanishing or, or you look at something and then, then it's gone. And right now we don't know how to do that. This is just a simple example where you can take one wavelength, or for example, one color, and you could achieve cloaking of that color. This cloak guides electromagnetic waves around a central region so that any object at all can be placed in that region and will not disturb the electromagnetic fields. So there's a uh, reduced reflection from the object and there's also a reduced shadow that you would uh, normally expect to see from uh, electromagnetic waves impinging on an object. Uh, David Smith has built an apparatus in the laboratory that essentially enables you to map the uh, distribution of electromagnetic fields around an object so you can literally see the radio waves in this case traveling towards the object bending around that object and passing through the object in their experiment the scientists first measured microwaves passing over a plane without any obstacles then they placed a copper cylinder in the plane and measured the disturbance in the microwaves next they placed the invisibility cloak over the copper cylinder. The cloak did not completely return the microwaves to their undisturbed state, but it did greatly reduce the microwaves being blocked or reflected. The results are published online in the journal Science. The key to the cloak's invisibility is the arrangement of copper lines on fiberglass sheets. The design gives the cloak electromagnetic properties different from those of pure copper or fiberglass. The design comes out of the new engineering science of metamaterials. Metamaterials are materials that are structured by taking macroscopic elements and uh, fashioning them or patterning them together to make a material that is unlike uh, any material that you could synthesize naturally. As an application, it's not clear that uh, you're going to get the uh, uh, invisibility that uh, everyone thinks about as in Harry Potter's cloak or, or uh, uh, the Star Trek cloaking device. But uh, it shows what can be done with artificial materials. It gives us some insight that we can design something that we wouldn't have been able to do with any existing material. This experiment is really just a tiny baby step towards demonstrating that this sort of thing is, is feasible. Obviously, everybody can come up with a whole set of uh, interesting things one might be able to do if you can make something invisible. Um, and all of those are, at this point, in play, given the, the theory that has been developed to support this work. It was once something that belonged only to science fiction, but now Japanese researchers have created technology that's the first step towards making objects invisible. The technology comes from 2003, but its developers say the Harry Potter-like invisibility cloak is just the beginning. The team, led by Dr. Susumu Tachi from Keio University, is now adapting its findings to help pilots, drivers, doctors and others. Retro-reflective projection technology uses a computer, a video camera and projector to shine background images onto the front of a subject wearing specialized clothing, creating the illusion of invisibility. What makes the technology unique is a fabric made of glass beads only 50 microns wide, which can reflect light directly back at the source, much like a movie screen. Viewed from near the light source, the projection is bright even in broad daylight, and researchers say the material can be applied to almost anything. In the short term, the team sees usage in car interiors, airplanes and helicopters. They say blind spots could be eliminated and accidents and hard landings avoided by making walls seemingly transparent. The eventual goal, though, is to create an augmented reality, that allows anyone to easily see information on real-world objects. Looking to the future, instead of glasses, people could wear this, and it would act as a navigation system. It could also tell you who someone is if you meet them around town. In the few years since the technology's invention, the price of the material, as well as that of computing, has come down, opening the door for smaller yet more powerful applications. 
whether used to increase safety or to create a whole new form of computer-human interaction, the world is likely to see, or possibly not see, more of this technology in the future. My body's gone. How invisible are we talking here? If I walked into a room with a soldier wearing one of these cloaks? You wouldn't see him at all. Uh, he would be completely invisible to you. This isn't make-believe. The military has seen the so-called quantum stealth technology. It works by bending the light around an object, even concealing most of a person's shadow. Imagine what that could do for a sniper hiding in a field, or the American pilots who ejected over Libya when their fighter jets crashed last year. They could actually pull out, uh, very similar to what they carry with a survival blanket, throw it over top of them, and unless you walked right into them, you wouldn't know that they were there.